In our metallic collection, we offer three color choices of rose gold, silver, and bronze. And today we're gonna to show you three examples of how you can use these products. This collection of metallics are great for accent colors or smaller pieces. First, we're going to use our bronze metallic paint to paint on our wood frame. So I have this beautiful piece of art here, but I wanna give it a little bit more of a vintage feel using the bronze metallic color. Bronze is sometimes described as a strong orange color or similar to the color of copper with brown metallic hues. I'm gonna do nice and light coats. Look how pretty it is. Beautiful. This is gonna give this piece of art such a nice vintage touch. So next up, we are going to be showcasing our rose gold metallic paint. One thing to mention about the rose gold is that the pearlescence inside this paint makes it not as matte as our other colors. So it's more for an effect than full coverage. This is what the metallic rose gold looks like painted on this face on its own. I will also show you what it looks like when you use our bright white paint as a base coat with the metallic rose gold on top. It creates a more opaque color if that's your desired look. When using our metallic colors, a third coat of paint may be necessary. Rose gold achieves its unique pinkish red color by mixing in classic yellow, gold, and copper. Make sure you are allowing two to four hours of drying time between each coat and allow to fully dry for seven days and 30 days to fully cure. For our last color, we want to showcase today our metallic silver. I'm going to elevate this plain white frame with a nice silver finish. Silver has cooler properties of a more lively gray. Great for hardware, accent furniture pieces, or chairs. You wanna put on light coats, so make sure that you're getting off any excess up here. Beyond paints, no prep, no prime, no sand formula is what makes DIY projects like this a breeze.